Hey, what's up everybody? It's Andres from a, a Deluxe Detail to Los Angeles, California. Hope everybody's having a blessed day and you know, go out there and help someone. It's always important to help others. But today, I will be on my Han Solo mission detailing this Hyundai. My boy Angel's out there taking care of personal business, so let's get to it. Yeah, A and A Deluxe Detail. The cars are so happy to get detailed by us. They even drive themselves to us, man. Check it out. There's no one in the driver's seat. Who's in the driver's seat, bro? Who's in the driver's seat? Oh yeah, A and A Deluxe, baby. Let's get it. So how long do you think this is gonna take you to, to complete? Uh, this vehicle, this customer is uh, probably one of the best clients that we have, you know? The ideal client, like a car is never really dirty, just needs a good wash, tire shine the rims, a little vacuum, so it should be like 30, 40 minutes. So have you detailed without uh, Angel? Yes, there have been some situations where someone is busy and you gotta go take care of life business, so someone, me and Angel have been on our own, and yeah, it's no problem, because we trust ourselves. And got it, got it. So how long did you say it was gonna take? Around 40 minutes. 40 minutes? 30, right. yeah. And it's, uh, it's like a detail, like a maintenance? Interior? Yeah, yeah, just a quick maintenance, brother. Oh. I already ceramic coated this car, so the car's always basically clean. We're here bi-weekly to weekly, so let's get it. So as you said, this is one of your ideal customers. Yes. What what makes an ideal customer? Um, well, for this specific client, he has kids. And even though he has kids, this car is well clean. We only see him about, say, bi-weekly, sometimes weekly when he calls us. But he mostly cares about the outside. Like, the inside's always clean. Just needs a light vacuum, a light towel to clean up all the dust. And yeah, brother. So even with all that going on, like he has a family, it's still maintained because you guys maintain it or he puts in He also work. cares about it too, you know, he doesn't just, you know, let his kids just eat or spill soda or drink anywhere. It's always in tip top form. So we just have to come and make sure it's all shined and a, &A ready. So Andres, does Angel usually like call out or? Bro, this is really unacceptable. I had to fire this guy, you know. Oh, we got a new client right here, bro. Check it out, check it out. How much do you guys charge? Bro, something like this. $10,000, bro. <laughs> he made it, he made it. Look at this guy, where'd you come from, bro? My house guy, house. man. So Angel, you made it to the wash. Um, earlier, I, I asked Andres what makes an ideal customer for him. Yeah. And he was mentioning that this customer, you know, they take care of their car, even though they have a family and stuff, they keep it clean. What makes an ideal customer for you? So, thank you for welcoming me, first of all. <laughs> Um, an ideal customer for me is someone who understands the value of what they're paying for. You know, our service and not only that, the value of their vehicle. So you have to understand the value of a vehicle in order to want our service in the first place. Otherwise, you're just not going to care and not keep up with it. And like you said, this guy does have a family, but he still does whatever he can to maintain his vehicle and keep the value there. See? Still recycling bottles, it's all good. I recycle at the house, so helping out the customers. Well, yeah, because I don't think the customer never really asked for their bottles back, so. So, Andres, uh, do you have any experiences with customers that are like less than ideal? Yeah, so a good example would. Well, he does care about a car, but my boy Chris, he ended up buying this Infinity G35 off the street off someone and when he brought the car to us he was telling me that it came from like it was like the wife's car of some guys and that car was trash bro it smelled it was dirty like it needed the whole ANA smoke like the extractor the steam clean we 
I think we extracted it like two or three times, like the like a procedure, like we would do only once. We had to do it like two or three times because it smelled that bad. But by the time we were done with it, the car was clean, didn't smell no more. And now every time he brings it to us, it's literally just a maintenance detail. So would you say that customers that are less than ideal, can you convert them to yeah. become ideal customers? Definitely, you just gotta educate them more on their investment, their money that they already spent. They already made that decision to spend the money on their car, whether it's five grand, 10 grand, 20 grand, doesn't matter. You go, if you take care of your car and keep it clean, you could actually get that money back by selling it if you keep that car in good condition. So it's just about educating the customer more on the, the stock of their car, the value. And have you, I guess, have you converted? If I converted, it, let me see, brother. Like yeah? yeah, for example, like this guy, the first car he brought to us, he wasn't, didn't really care too much for detailing his car, taking care of it. He did wash it himself, but you know, he, he could only do so much, you know? So once we, he found us, he understood, and now he gets a wash weekly or bi-weekly, and the car's always been taken care of ever since. Andres, Angel was able to make it? I know, man. What's wrong with this guy? Nah, I'm just late. <laughs> I was at the office actually scheduling some appointments. So it's all good. Uh, so did it take you as long as you were expecting it, or no? Ah, uh, well, Angel, just they speed it up a little bit, you know? He saved me that extra 10, 15 minutes of... Teamwork makes a dream work. You know, washing down the car, he dried it while I was vacuuming, so, you know, we get, for sure. So what do you mean by not having the same approach when detailing? Uh, you can start on the inside, you can start on the outside, you can mix up your method on how you go from start to end on a car. So it's like you're always kind of learning? Yeah, there's always more, Maybe not necessarily more efficient, but just a different way in general. You know, there's billions of people on this earth, so everyone has a different mind and they can use that mind differently. So, since you've been detailing, how, how many times have you changed your... Damn, like, I don't even know. Your approach. It, it definitely is not the same, I can tell you that. It has changed for sure. And it still continues to change, you know? So, whatever, whatever is gonna produce the most elite work. Obviously, we know, we have a general idea of how we're gonna attack a car, obviously, but um, you know, you're always improving, you're always learning, you're always getting better. Well, Angel, do you guys pick and choose your ideal customers? In a sense, yes, we do. What's your, like, how do you pick them? How do you? So, for example, we had a phone call, he got the phone call actually, and the guy was going through his description. Hey, Andres, my name is so-and-so. I have a 2010 Toyota Corolla, and I just need a quick, it was in Spanish. I just need a quick, you know, inside and a wash. And Andres was trying to get more information out of him. Do you need more of a detail? Do you know? He was like, eh. He was like, we already felt the energy. You could hear it in his voice. He wasn't trying to look for anything more than a regular wash. So we told him we have an $80 minimum. Instantly, he was shut down, he was like, oh, okay. Um, and then he kind of asked what it includes and then he was already, and then by then we're already like, ah, you know, that's not someone that we want to work with. We already know he's gonna say no, he doesn't fall under the, oh yes, I would love to, you know, like that sounds great because we get a lot of that too. Um, so yeah, in a sense we do handpick our clients. So to add to that, the reason why we're able to do that is because we get people that have no questions. Hey, when can you come? I need this and I need it done and boom. Don't, they don't ask, they ask for the price, they don't ask any questions after. So those, right away you know. Right away, those are our people because we give them the price, they know what's gonna happen, they know what to expect. We show up, get it done, and it's all good. And then for those people that have like no questions, do they book you like for a week? Like, some, sometimes it's on, on that exact day, a day before, it could be a week in advance. It, it really varies out here. So there's Angel's finishing up. Yeah, he's just out there getting, making sure the car is perfect, ready for our customers, so he is 100% satisfied and happy. But let me give you some free 99 knowledge right here. We're touching back on those ideal clients. We had an appointment not too long ago in Beverly Hills where we were gonna detail a Range Rover. But as we were arriving to the location, there was a guy receiving his Lamborghini off a truck and it was dirty. And I instantly just jumped out of my car. I approached the guy and I told him, hey man, you have a beautiful car. It's dirty, I would love to wash it. And like, little do you know, the guy just came from New York because I guess he moved out there and he didn't like it, he came back. 
and his car was filled and he was like bro i need a car wash like this is perfect and just like that picked up another client and easy 150. so that is an ideal client right there don't be afraid to approach them go attack them you know know your worth and go help them man they're looking for you they're looking for detailers man don't be afraid man go get them free 99 dollars right there You guys are done with the maintenance wash? Yes, sir. Yeah, my man, we just hooked up my boy Adam. And yes, sir. before that, I just want to give him a quick shout out. Jersey's all rust, always coming with the heat, bro. It's my little brother's birthday, you know? Coming out with the fire gift, and there's a man right here. We'll leave the, yeah, you need the link, jersey. we'll give him a yeah, tag. Man. Let's get it. Let him know, what's your Instagram? What's your Instagram? Right here, Jersey's are rust, Jersey's are rust. Jersey. Oh, Jersey's are rust. We're, we're, we're gonna put a tag and a link, so follow him up. Yes, sir. That's Thank it, that's guys. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotta get back in there. Appreciate yeah, man, it. I'll see you guys up next right, week. Yeah. You guys take care. You too. All right, guys, there you guys have it. Just like in Star Wars when Han Solo is in trouble and Chewbacca comes in and saves them. That's what my boy Angel did. <laughs> That's what my boy Angel did. He was busy handling some work elsewhere, still a and affiliated. So it was important that he was doing what he was doing. He finished, came through. We took care of my boy Adam, you know? So that's how you do it. That's how it's done. As always, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.